Hi there, I thought I'd update you on what's been happening since my last video. I had a table at a, uh, a show recently, and a few weeks ago, um, and um, I was displaying Woggle in, the, uh, in its uh, Raspberry Pi form and its Android form, as well as showing off its Minecraft integration. Um, went really well, really, really well. Um, I was giving away little packs with SD cards so people can make their own. Uh, whilst also doing the documentation, which I found uh, really hard to write in comparison to cobbling the, the actual chatbot together. But um, <clears throat> had some really good feedback, some good ideas, and I'm working on Woggle V... Uh, I've lost count, really, of what it is. It's smaller. I'm running it off the... Uh, ooh, there's my finger. The Pi Zero this time. Because a lot of the queries were asking me, can... Um, can it run off the zero? And it absolutely can. I've done away with the screen to make it smaller, uh, and instead it flashes uh, its responses in Morse code. So I've got to get my Morse code up to scratch pretty quickly. But uh, basically, it's the same functionality. Uh, it lights up red like it is now, waiting for an input. And if it doesn't receive one after, say, 10 seconds, then it will default to some sort of greeting. In this case, you know hello or hi there um, but I want that part to be um, sort of like a Tamagotchi affair so it will it'll sort of like evolve and learn and and blurt out the current statuses or what it's thinking that sort of thing I've also incorporated a little camera as well um, it's too small to have the screen in but the camera sits ideally in there um, I can get it to be uh, to, to, to be surveillance so it is activated when it sees motion um, uh, but also I'm using the the Tesseract API so it can actually read plain text now it I can only get it to work in like um, decent levels of light and if the if the letters are really clear but um, it is it is reading plain text um, at the minute so I've got lots of lots of ideas to to play around with to make it look uh, to make it uh, to make it better and we all um, yeah it communicate we communicate now not via a keyboard plugged in but by just a little bluetooth keyboard which uh, is really small actually um i quite like this one it's it's a good one but yeah that's what it is it's all sitting housed in an old thermometer which i took apart gutted um because my little boy doesn't need it anymore he's he's fully grown up but i've kept all these little gadgets or broken things with the plan of you know taking them apart later on giving it a quick spray paint black and assembled it all together, hollowed it out and eventually the Pi Zero will will fit in there but I've got it out out, out of the casing now just because it's easy just to pull, pull the cables in and out and, and solder stuff to it. So yeah that's the way it's going now. Um, it's really good actually to get my teeth stuck into something new, some new ideas and that's all thanks to handing out these chaps at the show. Uh, the feedback has been excellent um, and if you saw me at the show then um, Thank you for stopping by and saying hello, because it was a busy old day, um, but it, it was quite dead towards the end, and I was very grateful for, for people who were coming over and, uh, you know, um, chatting to me to, to help pass the time. That was, uh, that was a huge help. But overall, the day was brilliant, and I've got lots of ideas to work on. So, um, yeah, I was just keeping you up to date. All right. Thank you. Bye.